What is up guys? Welcome to Whoop, I'm Maddie and this is Chris. Oh hi, I'm Chris. Did you know that today is National Kids Day? I'm sorry, it's what? National Kids Day. It's the best day of the year where moms all around the country celebrate their kids, which, you know, it's, it's important, no? So, no, that's no. Today is Mother's Day. You know, the day where you oh. celebrate your moms and you appreciate them for all the things that they do for you. Aha, so that's what all these things are that for. That is what all these things are for, guys. We've got a lot of fan mail from our fans. They're sending us things that they love about their moms. So we're gonna sort these. We will be right back. Y'all go check in with Fancy Ooh. and Gray. Hi guys, I'm Fancy. And I'm Greg. I've been thinking, Greg. Uh-oh. I've remembered a bunch of things. Like how I remembered to make letters. I remembered that. How I remembered to decorate some cards. I remembered. I'm just remembering everything. Like the time we had to give gifts. I remembered that too. Well, I remembered to eat breakfast this morning. That doesn't count. That's so easy. That's all you think about. I also remembered that it's Mother's Day. Ha! Wrong! Mother's Day is next Sunday. Is it? A few moments later. One hour later. Six hours later. You know what? I think it's time to go check on Fancy. She probably needs me. Just got done doing ballet and on our way to go get pedicures because you know what those dance shoes do to your toenails. Oh, honey, stop. Stop touching your hair. You're gonna make it greasy. But mom! Oh, time to go. Let's go, Johnny! Let's go, baby! Come on! Come on! Make that goal! Make that goal! Yes! That's my son! That's my son! That's my son! Can we get McDonald's? Absolutely not! Do you know what that does to your body? Come on, we're going home. Put this on. I Put on your jet. No, we're either. crossing. We're crossing the street, and you need to be visible because I don't want any cars to be trying to hit you. Goodness gracious! The sun also. Put this on. We don't need you getting burnt. Come on, hold my hands. We're crossing the street now. Yes. Hello. You have those laps Mama. for Sarah. I'm oh, can I, hear, can I hear them? Mama, oh, I got to the park. Girls, I am on a very important phone call. Can y'all please be quiet for two seconds? Mom. I'm sorry. Yes, what are you Mama. Mama. Oh, that, Mama. that's very Mama. serious. Mama. Uh, Mama. I need to come in right Mama. now. Okay, Mom! Mom. There, okay, bye. Ladies, I have to go in for work. It's very serious. We are leaving right now. Come on. No! Oh, my God. Baby, get in this photo with me. Come on, come on. Ready? Act like you're having fun. Oh, that was so cute. Okay, I'm gonna post this. Hashtag girls stay out. Hashtag my daughter loves me. Hashtag fun day. Post. <laughs> Today our first letter is from Chris Tina. Okay, yeah. Okay. It says, my mom should be grateful for me. Mm -hmm. My favorite hobby is drawing and I love to paint. This sounds an awful like, like someone thought it was National Kids Day, is oh. what this sounds like. Oh, well, uh, no, no. Uh, you know, that's Chris. Christina. Tina sounds yeah. a lot like. Don't she you, sounds nice. Don't you really like to draw, Chris? I love drawing. Is this letter, 
Is this letter from you? Did you just change the name on nope. this letter? Nope. So I think Chris is gonna go write a letter to his mom for Mother's Day. And we are gonna go check out our next segment. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another game. We have Team A right here. Let me hear it for Team A. Yeah. All right, and Team B right here. Let me hear it for Team yeah. B. All righty, what we are gonna be playing is called Down the Line. As you, as you can see, both these people have huge shirts on. What they are gonna do is these two people are called the runner. They will take the shirt off and put it on the next person. Then this person will run all the way up and be prepared to get the shirt again. They will transfer to this person, and then the last person will transfer back to the first person. They're going twice through. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm so ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Let's, Let's get go. right into it. Here we go. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna count you down. Ready? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Go, transfer to the first person. Oh, oh, oh. They've got it already. Oh, man. The girls look like they're taking a really early lead. Very early lead. It's very slight, though. Very slight, though. All righty, all righty. I'll remember to run all the way around. Run all the way back. Run, 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 run. All right, all righty. The girls are looking very strong right now. That is the end. You're good. You're good. You're good. Did it cut off? Did it cut off for the end? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they have won. They have won. The girls have won. That was awesome. I had so much fun. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Yeah, that was a really fun game. But sadly, we've got to go. So I want you to get your game on while you watch the Sell and Tell show. Bye, guys. Give me some water. Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. I win! <laughs> Why are you still running? Why are you running so slowly? Is it me? It's him, right? I already won! And welcome to the So-and-So Show. Brandon, do you want to tell everyone out there what we're doing today? Sure. John is training me in the first and final annual blindfolded nose recorder three-legged race. So, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It Brandon is. and I are entered into a three-mile race tied together at three the leg, miles. blindfolded, uh, while playing the nose recorder. Yes, but I've never played the nose recorder before. Hey, no fear, my friend. I will be here to guide you every step along the way. Okay, why don't you give them a little taste of your musical prowess? Oh, well, I shall. There we are. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. You. All, right. all right, let's get started. All right, all right. First step, take your nose recorder and place it in your nostril. Okay. 
Okay, I got, now what makes a nose recorder different than a normal recorder? It's played with your nose. Uh, Come on, focus. Okay. Okay. Okay, does that feel comfortable? Define comfortable. All right, I'll take that as a yes. Now give it a nice big. Okay. Oh, no, no, okay, hold on. Put your fingers here. All right, just like that. Where, where? Yep, yep, where? yep, that's that? right. Yeah, yeah, okay. go again, go again, go again. No, no, not there, not there, not there. You gotta cover the, there's a hole underneath with your thumb I, I and a hole on that. top. No, I got, no, 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 I got it, listen. No, 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 that's no, what I'm, no, 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 no. It's like this. Even. No, 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 you're not, listen, just stop that, stop that. Stop. What? What are you doing? I was getting it. No. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Uh, hey, Hans, welcome back, man. Okay, so uh, we know who he is, but just in case, why don't you tell them who you are and what you know? Hello. Guten Tag. My name is Hans Decibel. I am the expert in all things auditory. Mm -hmm. Auditory? Yeah, this is correct. Auditory. With your ears. Yeah. Well, Hans, the reason I asked you here... Ha! Here! Ha! Ha! Oh. <laughs> I hear what you did there. <laughs> Please continue. Oh, uh, yeah, the reason I asked you... Here! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, the reason I... Uh, that you are at this place at this moment in time mm -hmm. is I'm trying to train Brandon for a race and he's not listening to me. So can you help me out with this? Ah, yeah. Oh. I understand your problem. I can help with this. To train the ears, one must do important listening exercises. Oh. I will train you now. My first exercise will involve me saying a sentence, and you must repeat it after me. Oh, that sounds easy enough. While wearing headphones, playing white noise in your ears. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, wow. There are many distractions in our world. We must train our ears to hear through the noise. And yes, you at home can play as well. Listen carefully and see if you can hear what are the words I say. Headphones on! Oh, headphones on. This. I sent a strand of the bed this time, but it's no. Headphones on. They're good. Do you know what I said, Brand? I don't think so, but I'll try. I, a famous friend of spaghetti has spaghettos. <laughs> Nine. No. Jan? A famous chunk of spaghetti was found in the snow. Nine. No. Also wrong. The sentence first. A single strand of spaghetti is called spaghetto. Oh. You were so close. I was. Nine. No. Not close at all. For our next training exercise, I will play an audio recording of three completely different words being said at the exact same time. Ah, mm. All right, bring it on. Let's do it. Headphones on. Okay. These Please. Connected to that. Are you ready? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us begin. Bounce the chair. No, can we? Yeah, can you play it again? Yeah, I can do this. Bounce the chair. Uh, okay. Brad? I think it's basketball, spaceship, and a uh, dinosaur? Nine. No. She's wrong. Okay. Uh, I, I think it's basketball, uh, learn to share, and... Nine. Okay. This is wrong. What do you think it was? I can't hear you. Louder? No, they don't. They, they, you won't. Nine, I can't hear you. The right answer was newspaper, rocking chair, basketball. Oh, oh we got one. That's hard. Your ears are still not trained. Mm. For a final exercise, we will need this. Okay. 
Here are the rules. I will show Jan a word. You will both step up to the aquarium. You will dunk your heads under the water. Jan will yell the word to you. Uh, oh, okay. okay. All right. Step up. Oh, oh, oh. Here is the word. Oh boy, okay. Here we go, ready? And are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, in three, two, one, go! Was it sunscreen? Yeah! yeah. You are making progress, Brand. Did you get it too? Uh -huh. I can't hear you. I think that you, they don't, you louder. You really I, never I can't ever hear them. Okay. okay. So the next word. Oh, okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Is it pineapple? Oh. oh, nine. What, what, the what? answer is platypus. Oh. oh, platypus. Okay. Yeah. That's a hard one. But good job on the first one. Thank you. Did you get that one? Platypus? I still can't hear something. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. The final clue. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. It's a good. Go. <laughs> I know this one. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Huzzah! Hey, Kellen. Fellas, you got a story for us today? Sure do. One of Jesus' disciples, Matthew, wrote down a famous sermon Jesus gave that we know today as the Sermon on the Mount. Now, the Sermon on the Mount had a lot of famous quotes from Jesus. Things like, you are the light of the world, love your enemies, and when you give, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. At the end of the sermon, Jesus told a story about a wise builder and a foolish builder. And here to help me tell the story are my friends Becky and Bethilda. After his sermon, Jesus said, So then, everyone who hears my words and puts them into practice is like a wise builder. All right. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's really good, too. Okay, this, is, this is a really good house. Where should I build it? Let's see. Mm, I can't really see the ground, so yeah. Sand. Well, that'll never work. Perfect. Okay. So the person who hears what Jesus says and does what Jesus says is like a wise builder who builds their house on the rock. Then there's the foolish builder. All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, this is a good house. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Now, where should I build it? Nope. Too many trees. Too rocky. Hmm. This is nice. Take a look at this perfect beachfront property where you can build your next dream house, complete with views of the ocean on three sides. Why hasn't anyone built here before? We don't know, but their loss is your gain. Get it today for half price. Half price? Is there something wrong with it? Nothing's wrong with it. Would I lie? So Jesus said, the person who hears what he says, then doesn't do what he says, is like a foolish builder who builds their house on the sand. Both kinds of builders know how to build their houses. But what matters is the foundation. Because Jesus said, 
when the rain comes down, when the water rises, and then winds blow and beat against the houses, the house built on the sand will fall with a loud crash. But the house built on the rock will not fall. Oh no! I really should have built on the rock. The end. Great story, Kellen. I'm gonna go build a house today on a strong foundation. Okay, but the story really wasn't about building houses. Oh, right, it's about hearing what Jesus says and not just hearing his words, but actually putting them into practice. That's how you build on a strong foundation. Why? Oh, I think you've got it. Thanks, Kellen. Whew. No doubt. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, later. You know, John, it's a good thing that Hans was here earlier to train me how to listen. Oh, yeah? Hey, you're ready to take another stab at the nose recorder? No, but... <laughs> uh, what are you... If I'm gonna do what God says, first I have to hear him, right? <laughs> right, but I, I'm not sure that's how it works. Oh, how does it work? Uh, like this! Reveal the question! Oh, how can you hear from God? Oh, yeah, can you hear God speak to you out loud in a deep, booming voice? Or maybe you hear God when you read the Bible? The Bible has all kinds of wisdom and words from God. Or, or maybe you hear God through a teacher or a friend or through nature. Yeah. Or... I think there are a lot of ways that you can hear from God. Yeah, so talk about it with each other. How can you hear from God? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Bye. This sweet song, go. Oh, that's how it goes, oh. Oh, that sweet no solo. It sounds so sweet, oh, so lovely, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Really cool. Oh my goodness, look! It's from Michael Jordan! There's no way that's from Michael yeah. Jordan. Yeah! There's Such no Such a way. big fan. He's so cool. Can you open that? Mmm. Can you open <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, impressive. <laughs> Let's see here. What, what did he says. say? What did he say? Mm. Okay, from Michael Jordan. My mom has been one of my biggest fans since I was a kid. Her favorite shampoo is Heads and Shoulders. Heads and Shoulders. She loves to sew. I am definitely a mama's boy, and I'm very grateful for her support and love. Well, guys, wow. it sounds like even famous basketball players need their moms. Guys, go and make sure you show your mom some love today. Tell her how much you appreciate her. We are celebrating Mother's Day. And kids. No. Okay. We're celebrating. Tell your moms how much they mean to you guys, and we will see you later. Okay guys, before you forget, go get your adults right now, whoever it is, have them email this email. If you love us and you love what we do and you want some Upstreet merch, email us and we will send you free Upstreet merch. What's better than free stuff? Nothing. Nothing, so email us and get your free merch today.